Hello YouTubers, and it's Mariana here on my channel, Indie Queen Maz. Um, hope you're all well. This is my November favours, a little bit late, but um, rather now than never. Um, so let's get started. Um, let's start with some hair stuff. Um, I went to Tesco's and bought these herbal essences. Um, they're really, really, really good. Um, this is the Hello Hydration Deep Nourishing Intensive Mask. Um, this is with Hawaiian coconut and orchid extract for dry and damaged hair. This is really, really good. I love it. I proper massage it into like the ends of my hair, um, and then leave it for about five minutes and put just a little bit at the top. Uh, mainly do it for the ends, but I just brush it through, and my hair. I do notice a difference. I use this like once a week, and it is amazing. I love it. I can't fault it. It's just wonderful. I really, really like that product. Um, then I went to the 99p store and got original source and um, this almond coconut deep moisturizing shampoo for dry and colored hair as you can tell I have colored hair and this product is amazing for my hair um, and it was only 99p um, kind of I'm gonna see if they've got any more left um, sort of over the next few weeks uh, just because this is really good and I like to have more shampoo in the house than possible because just in case, I've always got shampoo. Um, so I'm really, really liking this for my hair at the moment. It's really nourishing, really moisturising, and it, I can really tell. Because um, London has hard water, uh, and I live in London, um, it's not the best thing for my hair, and it gets really knotted and really greasy and really horrible really fast. So having a special um, shampoo and conditioner for my hair really, really helps. So I'm loving those products at the moment. Um, and body stuff. Um, I've really gotten into this. This is by Treacle Moon. You can get this in Tesco's. Um, it's called My Coconut Island. It's a body scrub. Um, it's really, really good for your skin. My skin gets really dry in the winter, um, but I still need to kind of buffer it up and get rid of the dead skin cells. So this really helps. And you kind of really moisturise it in. And once you take it off, you still smell of coconut. So it's like a moisturiser and body scrub in one. I love it and it smells of coconut <sighs> anything that smells of coconut I like as you notice as all three products I've just shown you have coconut in them um, now in the winter months um, I like to have slightly darker nails at the moment my nails are just atrocious I had my crystal pipe last night and I attempted to do like a dotty polka dot thing with lots of glitter didn't dry hence why it's all just coming off and horrible um, but this is my favourite colour at the moment. This is Barry M in Raspberry. I absolutely love this stuff. It's really, really nice. Um, it kind of brightens up your nails, but without being too in your face. And um, so it's a really nice neutral colour for the winter months. Neutral colour. Not neutral, but I like it. Um, and it kind of goes really well with the outfit that I want to wear for my birthday. So I'm probably going to be wearing this on me toesies and me nailsies. Um, more face stuff. Um, this stuff, I can't live without this. This is my Nivea Visage Q10 Wrinkle Cream. And it's like this. Um, you can get it from all drugstores. Um, I normally get mine from Wilkinson's because they're a little bit cheaper. Um, this is the anti-wrinkle for eyes. I am getting a little bit old. Um, so for the next week and a bit, I'm going to be 27. Mm. Um, so yeah, this really helps. I do get kind of wrinkles around my eye area, so I like to kind of prevent more happening. And this stuff, it does really work. And I use it morning and night, and I just think it's really, really good. Uh, it does what it says on the tin. Um, then, in my glossy box in October, I got these two products: the dermatological thing. The Age Smart, and um, one's a face scrub and the other one's a face mask. Both really, really good. I use one or the other um, once a week just to keep my skin like hydrated and stuff. Because even though I moisturise every day, like twice, like in the morning and then in the evening, um, this stuff just kind of gives it a little bit of a boost. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the full size ones of these just because they are quite expensive. But if I did, I could probably get the scrub because the scrub is a lot nicer than the mask. The mask is good, um, but the scrub, I can really feel it working on my skin. Um, then, 
makeup wise. Um, I've been loving this. You can't actually see what it is anymore, thanks to great packaging. Um, it's the Collection 2016 Hour Wear Concealer, and I am in shade 2, which is light. Um, it's really, really good. The wand is like that. Um, I've been really enjoying wearing this. Um, I don't really wear foundation because it kind of clogs up my skin and stuff. Um, so this, when I have spots or anything needs concealing, this has been my go-to product. I kind of go for this more than the um, stick that I normally go for. So I really, really am enjoying that. And it was quite cheap as well. It's not like inexpensive. Um, then a blush that I've been loving is a Sleek Makeup Blush in Sahara. And it looks like this. And it's a really, really nice colour. I've got it on my cheeks at the moment. You do kind of have to use a bit of it. Um, but I'm really, really, really loving this. Um, it just kind of quite pale. I, I, I need stuff that's kind of going to go in your face with my cheeks. Um, so I really like this. Maybe put too much of it on. Um, I tend to wear it, if I wear like neutral colours and I don't want to look flustered, I kind of wear that then maybe something else like uh, Mocha by MAC is my sort of go-to blusher but I've been really enjoying that for the winter months just because it kind of gives me that little bit of a bit of a buzz around my cheeks. Anything that does that I like. I'd like to apologise um basically this is my fourth time filming hopefully I've got it right before it was too high that was too low that was completely out of focus so um it's still light outside, so I'm hoping the lighting's going to be alright, and if I'm not pointing stuff in the right direction, I apologise. Um, the next thing, I can't live without mascara. If I go out without mascara on, I feel naked. It's weird. Um, but the one that I've been loving at the moment is Rimmel Scandalize, and it's really good. You can lava it up to get the full effect, or just put on one layer, and you still get a really good effect. The wand is massive. And I'm really, really liking this. It's in black, shade 11001. Um, I really like it. It does volumise your eyes. Um, I'm wearing it at the moment with another mascara. And I really, really like it. It kind of just accentuates, in emphasises your lashes. So I'm enjoying that product. Um, I've got three more products face-wise. Um... This is the Fast Stroke Eyeliner from Collection 2000. I really, really like it. Um, I'm wearing it at the moment. It's the only thing that kind of gives me the black effect that I really want. So I've been really enjoying that. This is in Black 1. i um, been really enjoying this product. I think it's great. For me, this is my eyeliner of choice. And it's kind of been my go-to one at the moment. Um, then I've got this. I've rediscovered this. Because normally I kind of only wear this shade in the summer and not so much in the winter. Um, just because it's too bright for me. I'd rather have like dark or very nude lips. This is so bright and so amazing that I've had to get it out. It is a MAC Amplify um, Girl Out Town from MAC. Um, it was like £11 or something. I got it in the airport so there was no, um, it was duty free. I really, really love this colour. It suits me because I have kind of red hair, especially when I re-dye it, it goes really, really red. Um, so this stuff is amazing. I love it. And I've got an orange dress um, that I'm hopefully going to be wearing over the Christmas period at one point or another. Um, and the lipstick goes really well with it. And then it's a very basic eye. It looks great. I have to say, it looks amazing. I can't fault it. Do I keep hiccup around? But ill at the moment, so it's not the best thing in the world. Um, what else? A uh, fragrance that I've been loving at the moment is Chanel Number no. 5. Um, I got this on a whim. I was coming back from my dad's. Um, he lives in Austria. And um, I've always wanted it, but I can't justify it. It's like £80, £90 in perfume. This is the 50ml, and it's in this packaging, like that. Um, and it's just great. It's got such an adult smell to it. And I think the older I get, the more fragrance I get that's kind of stick with me all day instead of ones that kind of last for a couple of hours so I've been really loving my Chanel number no. five um and I've got three more products two why not actually more than three four, four yeah I can't keep count um 
as you can tell, I have a slight cold. Um, and this, this is Boots Cold Defense Nasal Spray. You know when you get water up your nose and kind of when you go swimming, that's what it feels like. But it actually works. It has prevented many colds for me. Um, this one, it hasn't prevented, but it's kind of making it go away much faster. So I really recommend that if you are suffering from a cold. I love it. Won't anywhere without it. <laughs> and then these are my holy grail. I love these. I need these in my life. Um, basically, they're little insoles and with like a fur on them really furry um, and you just stick them in your shoes and they keep you warm now these were from Brick Lane Market and they are five pounds um, and you can get them like you just give the lady your size like if you're a five or four like I'm on a four so it's quite hard to find stuff that actually fit into my shoes these are amazing they keep me warm it doesn't matter how many socks you love on this this is what you need not warm socks these I'll be wearing them today and then um, I've lived in these i even wore these to the christmas party where normally everyone was in heels except for me and maybe a couple of other people there's a leaf at the bottom of it sorry that's disgusting um is these shoes they're from uh h by henry holland at Debenhams, and they are amazing they're a size four they're 28 pounds you can still get them in the shops now and um, they've got like a little horse detail and um, they're just little plain loafers and surprisingly enough they keep you warm and um, they've got a good sole in them so you can walk for the ages like they're really good when I go shopping I kind of wear them or if I'm out for, for a whole day I kind of wear these just because they're really comfortable they're £28 um, and in my opinion they're slightly nicer than the Topshop ones even though I love studded stuff like I really love studded stuff I couldn't buy those shoes so I went for these instead they were the same price and I just I love them I love them so much I want to wear them all the time um, and then my last three items are jewellery based. Um, the first one is this by Gogo Go Phillips. It's £2.50 or £2. It's a little ring with a little skull on it. I love skulls. Um, so does everyone else on YouTube. Um, but I really like this. It's kind of, it's not a statement. It's just, it just looks really nice on your finger. I think I might wear that today. Um, I really like it. I don't really wear a lot of gold. I kind of went off of gold. But I love this. And it's so cheap. And it's adjustable. Um, so you can decide which ring to wear it on ring which finger and next is a necklace by gogo -Go phillips as well this was i bought these in the westfield in stratford and um, it's a necklace like this just with a plain little heart on it it was like five pounds i could justify spending five pounds i love hearts i love anything to do with hearts and i just thought this was really just really cute i like it and then the other thing i bought was from airsoft I love ASOS and I love their jewellery because it does tend to last longer than other jewellery and it's inexpensive, especially if you buy it in the sale. I bought this in the sale and let me just line it up. Basically, there's five little skulls and they're tiny. So they're kind of nice if you're wearing like a all black dress. I think this is like £3.50 or something silly like that from ASOS. You can still get it now. Um, but I've been wearing this a lot, especially for evenings out. I've been wearing it um, like with silver jewellery. And just because you've got the five skulls, you kind of know you're a badass. But no one else knows you're a badass. Um, so yeah, those are my November favourites. Uh, all the stuff I've been enjoying over the last month. Um, I've already sort of accumulating stuff for December's favourites. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll just tell you what I'm wearing at the moment. I'm wearing a blouse from Topshop. Uh, so it's 28 no 38 pounds and um, i really love it because it's very wintry um but at the same time you could wear it in the summer as well and it i just buttoned it up and then i'm wearing ah, my amazing trousers that i can't get enough of these are from miss suffrages and they're a size 10 i can't believe i'm a g size 10 that's amazing i used to be a size 16 um so i really really love these they're like a dark green um, so they're perfect for autumn and I'm probably going to wear them out so they've got holes everywhere. But yeah, um, I'll link down below what I'm wearing on my face. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And um, I'll be doing a video hopefully next on this product. Ah! Um, yeah, basically it's my take on Moroccan oil. So uh, keep tuned and um, I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.